Hey everybody, today I want to show you how you can make the new Gmail work for you. Freaking amazing. Just look at my inbox, how it looks. I just have one email left in my general inbox and everything else is already labeled and sorted out. Now, how did I do that? Hey everyone, it's Yvonne with AskEvie.com and today I want to jump into how you can make your inbox look like mine. To do this, you will need the new Gmail feature. If you are on a personal Gmail account, just go up here and say you want to use the new Gmail. If you are on a business account like I am, you might have to go into your admin settings and enable a domain white. If you don't know how, comment in my Facebook. I'll let you know how to do that and I'll give you instructions. If you are not in the Facebook group, go over, head over there facebook.com and search for the protopreneur group right there. I'll show you how to do that. Now with the new Gmail layout enabled, the next thing we need to do is configure your inbox. You probably had one of those or all of them of those tabs. It has to be just primary. So you have to take the social promotion updates and form. All of them have to be out. It just has to be primary. Now, once that is set, I want you to go into your regular settings. And the next thing we'll do is rearrange the, <laughs> rearrange your stars. So what I did just because it made sense for me, I did the orange star, the exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation mark that thing. The two hours, the question mark and the done sign. And I just kept the rest. You also see when I hover over here, it gives you names. You will need those later on. You can always come back and grab those when we need them. So now that you have your stars sorted out, the next step is going into your multiple inboxes. This might already have something in there. Don't worry about it. You can delete it out to sort it. As I did, you need the has double points and then the name that appears when you hover over those stars. And the other one is your title. What do you want it to call? What's that tab that you want to sort it in? Now for me, I did again, the orange star, the exclamation, uh, exclamation point, the question mark, the two arrows and the green check mark, which for me is to do important request reply and waiting on. Now we got that set up. Going back into the inbox. It might look like this. If you want it into two, you also can have a top to bottom. That piece right there is happening in settings in the multiple inbox and right down here. So are these search queries on the right side of your inbox above the inbox or below the inbox? I like to have my general inbox on the left and all of the rest on the right, just like a to do list. And then this is happening. But this is not happening if you are not using your stars. Now, once it's done loading, if you do that star, and it doesn't want to update. So we have to refresh the page. Once you set that orange star, it will move it into that associated tab. You see that right here? That's how you assign those. And you really can just click through those. And that's why we rearrange them in your general tab. And it keeps going. If you wait a second, you can completely take it out again. Now, if you do it like that, as you can see, that email doesn't have a label like one of these right there because it's just a standard inbox. If you really want to be efficient, you need to set up labels and you need to auto assign labels. If you don't know how to do that again, head over to the Facebook group, post right there, and I will show you how to do that. Now, what happens? when you assign a label to this. So let's just label this with something. Let's let's use the new feature because you can click right there and label it. Add a label and we'll just label it as maybe. Now, if I put that star in there, 
and we have to refresh it again because Google doesn't want to just do it by itself. It'll, it'll does it by itself. It just takes a little bit longer, but I don't want you here to just be having to sit here and watch me. Now, as you can see, I put the star in, it's right there. Now, why you should really get used to and build a habit of doing all of those labels is now you can archive it. For me, because I have sorted out clients and they all have their own folder and all of that, this is the easiest way for me to do it. Now, you can really just not have those labels. And we'll refresh again so you can see that. The search query goes by that star, meaning you can really just archive stuff and have the star there and it will be over here in your to-do list and out of your general inbox. My thing is how my workflow is, I want that client label there. So when I archive it over here because I'm done or take the star out, as you can see, it's already archived. If I take the star out, it's going to go into my collect all archive. I don't want that. I want it to be assigned to my client. So with that, I need that label. So when I take the star out, it's not just going into the ether and disappearing for the next century. I have them in my client stuff. So again, let me know in the comments, how does it work for you? Did that work for you? How are you setting it up? What kind of labels are you using? And how are you making use of this in your workflow? See you soon.